It all started 300 years ago with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original Black Marker disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and a unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the Markers are divine and their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the Black Market disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the Black Marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker. And with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by EarthGov, his mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis Seven. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clark, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it? Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Get there! Follow the waypoint that sent you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there! Do, do you hear me? You have to get there! What? Oh, it's lost! What? Dang it! Okay, Tim. You can do this. Who oh, he's dependent on you. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. Gun's not even loaded. Doc, I found it. 
Good. Can you get inside? It's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. for a cylinder about half a meter long do you see it Fine young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahad, sir. W where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. And now for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. Tim? Who the hell are you? Lift him up. Up. Oh. 
don't have a lot of time, so I want to make this brief. I understand you're something of an expert on markers. You created one. I didn't make shit. Your government made me. And you destroyed two, which is why we're here. We got a job for you. No. No! I'm done with that. You find somebody else for your suicide mission. We did. Before we lost contact with her, she told us to find you. Ellie, where is she? What did you do to her? Where is she? Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them. Captain, run out of time. Gotta go. She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. Okay. Okay! of apartment 16. Your rent is past due. This is your final notice. Bailing in three days will result in eviction. Okay. I said I'd help you. Now where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. We'll explain later. Hey. Who the hell are you guys? Earth Gov's last battalion. Name's Norton. Captain Robert Norton. Sergeant John Carver. Last battalion? What do you mean? Last means last, genius, as in no more left. Looks clear. No more left? There's our right. Let's go! trying to kill us you they're trying to kill you what just get out of there and shut your trap why are these fanatics after you've me? destroyed markers in the past i think that makes you a direct threat to their plan plan some end time prophecy based on the markers convergence yeah ellie thinks you can stop it so now she's missing and they followed you here yes now get to the roof of the dredger corp building there's an extraction team waiting have you seen this man where is he? I don't know! Got him! He's headed to the freeway! Shit! I've hit the freeway! Then cross it! They're unmanned transports! They don't stop for anything! I've still got my stasis unit. I'll slow the traffic and get across.
brothers and sisters. The age of man is at an end. We have become too many, too little to go around. Corporations that we once trusted with our money have squandered it. The governments that we once trusted with our future have sabotaged it. To their eternal credit, we are dying. Fear not. There is a future. As promised by the prophet Michael Auckland, the Black Marker has a plan for all of you. It will lift us up from our miserable existence, and we will become one. United in body and united in spirit. Our unity will be our salvation. We will live on. Not as men, but as God. The Church of Unitology is waiting for you, my friends. Throw off the chains of this life and join us as the new one begins. I'm Jacob Arthur Dalek, and I am this message. Norton, this we isn't just dying. a manhunt. It's systematic slaughter. Oh, no, no. no. But why topple the government? Why Earth Gov? Danik blames them for experimenting with the markers, thinks it's heresy. So you can imagine what they think of you. Have you reached the extraction site yet? I'm almost there. And we will become one. United in body and united in This one's still alive. Bring him here. <laughs> Isaac Clark. Just the man I was looking for. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. There. You see that? It's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. What do you want from me? As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you helped make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No, no. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. Join the cycle of rebirth. Team yet. All dead. Danik got here first. Fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. Is on the way. It's like a rocket in my stomach. The 
Another security breach in progress. Which trusted with our money have squandered it. The governments that we once trusted with our futures. Sabotage. Trains. Okay. I made it to the train station. What about Danix, man? I lost him in the panic. This outbreak may buy us some time. Well, grab a train. Let's go. No good. Looks like the train was getting refitted with a new power car. So? I'm gonna have to put it back together. We'll do it fast. Danix gunships are far off. We'll try to draw them away then. Be fast. All train cars are aligned. Departure process initializing. Please board to the rear of the train. All right, Norton. The train's hooked up and ready to head out the south gate. You can't miss it. It'll be the only thing moving. All right, understood. I'll close in once you clear the city. Be ready for pickup. This is going to be tricky. What? You still haven't told me what happened to Ellie. Now it's not the best time, I think. Is she alive? Last I saw her was at Keyhole Station. She Said she was onto something big, shocked out to some secret coordinates, and then we lost contact. I know your ex-girlfriend very well, she's still alive, and mad as hell we haven't found her yet. Ah, here comes the cavalry. Norton, which ship is the Eudora? The bigger one that just flew over your head. <laughs> Isaac, look out! They boarded the train! Ah, shit! Lost the main battery. Isaac, get your ass up here! Hurry up! We can't hold them off forever! Level the train! I want nothing left! Nickel clock! Target five! Back there. Try harder next time. Garver, guys, go weekend. Yeah. Good, we're almost there. Get your asses to the bridge. You heard the man. Recorded message playback. Hey, look, I'm on patrol. Make this quick, all right? It's his birthday. Shit. Is that Dad? Thanks for the present, Dad. When are you coming home? Soon. Okay. I love you, Dad. Who wants to play soldiers? You gave him a soldier. John, he idolizes you. Well, you better get that idea out of his head. You got that? I gotta go. Love you. All right, everyone, listen up. 13 days ago, Agent Ellie Langford and her team attempted a blind shock to an uncharted planet. She believes it holds the secret to stopping this marker epidemic, but we've been unable to make contact. Our number one priority is finding and securing Agent Langford and her team.
15 seconds to target. Standing by to D-shot. All right, people, we're going in blind, so stay tight on that exit vector. Rosen, count it out. Exit beacon locked. De-shocking in five, four, three, two, one. What the hell is that? The moon. What's left of one? Frozen! I see it! Christ, this place is a junkyard. More like a graveyard. Any sign of Ellie's ship? I'm reading several transponders, but none of them are ours. According to the registry, they're sovereign colonies warships. You serious? They'd be over 200 years old. Wait, wait, I'm getting something. It's an SOS coming from that ship dead ahead. The CMS Roanoke. It could be Ellie. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, Rosen, close to 500 clicks. Aye, sir. Those lights. They're beacons? Hang on. No. My! Rosen, get us out of here! Collision warning. Brace for impact. I can't. Let's not do that again. Can you make it to that cargo dock? Yeah. Yeah, you think there's air on board? Ellie's SOS is coming from somewhere inside, so let's hope so. Oh, God, it looks like the power's out everywhere. There's no way to activate the cargo doors. I think there's a manual crank on the other door. See it? Right. I'll see if I can get inside. I've seen a lot of ships. Never anything like these. Yeah, that's because the sovereign colonies were sore losers. When they lost the secession war to EarthGov, they scuttled their entire fleet. I'm surprised any survived. What were they doing this far from home anyway? If this is where Ellie went, you can bet it had something to do with the markers. We've got air. <laughs> and 
dust. Any sign of Ellie? No. Looks like I'm the first person through here in a long time. I'll try to open the cargo doors. Hang on. I can't stop the bleeding. Shit. Hey, Isaac. Okay, meet me at the door. I can let you in from this side. All right, there. Now get in here. Give me a hand. Isaac, Ellie's SOS is coming from deeper inside this ship, but I can't leave Rosen and lock. Send me the coordinates. I'll go check it out. Here you go. Hey, don't stray too far. That's an order. Dead end. Looks like someone shut a bulkhead for quarantine. Nah, oh, can we cut through it? No. It's too thick. But it might cycle open if I can power it up. That did it. And there's a bench on the same circuit. Bench? With all the parts lying around here, I bet I can make a better weapon than this one. Yeah, got smart thinking. Jumped by what's left of the crew. What? No one could have survived out here that long. They didn't survive. They got turned into those things. What? Okay, what do we do? You keep your weapon ready and you stay the hell away from the ventilation ducts. If they get close, shoot for the limbs. You got that? I said you got that. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Over too. Hey, that thing's coming! Sir, we're running low on ammo! Make a barricade! Just keep them out a little longer. Norton, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. All right, I think that's holding them for now. Good. The SOS is coming from directly above me. And it looks like I found the ship's primary generator. If I can get power going, it should unlock the crossover for you. All right, what about you? Uh, there's an elevator here that goes straight up the spire. I'll meet you at Ellie's coordinates. Crossover just opened up. You're welcome. Rosen, lock, you stay put. Isaac Carver will rendezvous with the Spire. Got it. Oh, God, you found us. Oh, Ellie, baby. <laughs> mm. I knew you were too stubborn to die. <laughs> Captain, is this him? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's him. I say, Clark, great to meet you. Austin Buckle, Marker Ops. Uh, this here is Jennifer Santos, our little lady with the big brain. 
If it's true you can decipher the marker script, this mission might still have a chance. Isaac, thank you for coming. Like I had a choice. I know, I'm sorry. But I have so much to tell you. Oh, Arya, come on, we have to get, get out of here now. No, not yet. Isaac, we need to stop the marker. The trail ends at the Admiral's quarters. She'd written marker scroll all over the walls. The answers are in there. I know it. We cannot leave until we know what it says. Yeah, well, then let Isaac handle the translating. We're leaving now. I got Buckle, you get Santos. Let's go. Oh. Go on, take care of the crew. They need you more than I do. Isaac, I'm sorry about that. There's so much going on, I- So Norton, huh? I mean, that was quick. The world is ending, and all you can think about is us? Damn right. I never gave up on you. Oh, no. You gave up on the world. I paid my dues. Or don't you think I'm fucked up enough already? Isaac, this is do or die. We're stuck without your help. Are you with me? Doesn't look like I have a choice. Now what? What? Oh, fuck. Secure here. How the others? So live. I'll meet you at the Admiral's quarters. Don't leave me waiting. Hey, Isaac. Am I gonna stand here all day? Hang on. I'll be there soon. Hey, if you're embarrassed to ask for directions, just follow your waypoint. <laughs> The Admiral's quarters. Isaac's. Turn it off. Hey, Isaac. Turn it off. Isaac? Carver, what's going on? Turn it off. Isaac! Turn it hey! Off. Turn it off. Hey! What is it? What's going on? Nothing, nothing. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> Ellie. The Admiral was obsessed with making a key. A key to what? Hey! Key to what? Some sort of alien device. A machine. I think that she believed that it controlled the markers. Oh my god. She wanted to turn it off. She wrote that over and over again like a mantra. Or instructions. This is exactly what we've been looking for. This isn't just some random planet, Isaac. They found the source. The marker homeworld. You have got to be shitting me. All right, let's regroup in the control room. We can plan our next move from there. Clark, shake it off. Let's go. Clark! Damn it, Marjorie. I'm risking a lot of brave men and women down in that ice cube. Soldiers that could be fighting the war back home. 
Now, can somebody tell me, for the love of God, what the hell we're looking for? We are looking for hope, General. Oh, good God in heaven. Support for the war and our ability to fight it are dwindling. We are out of resources, we are out of public approval, and we are out of time. Just answer my question. What are we looking for? Markers. You must be joking. No, General. I'm not. I will be sending Dr. Serrano to your quarters to give you a full briefing. You must be out of your goddamn mind. General, you are dismissed. <laughs> Buckle here. We've tracked down a scrapped transport shuttle called the Crozier. If we can get it spaceworthy again, we can use it to reach the planet's surface. No chance. We find the shuttle, then we're getting the hell out of here. Damn it, Robert. If we don't stop the markers, there won't be anything to go back to. Either way, it looks like the shuttle's our only shot. Where is it? In the biggest ship of the fleet, the Terra Nova. But it's a long walk. Well, they must have had some way to travel between ships. If there's a way, we'll find it. Good afternoon, General. Admiral Graves asked me to prepare this information for you. <clears throat> when the black marker was exhumed on the Earth in 2214, it defied our understanding of science. It appeared to generate limitless energy, a trait of obvious importance in our resource-strapped times. There was an effort to replicate the marker, hoping to understand its technology, thereby acquiring limitless energy for ourselves. Imagine our surprise when we learned they are not sources of energy, but receivers of it. Via carrier wave from somewhere deep in space, triangulating this marker signal revealed a previously undetected planet, now known as Tau Volantis. We hope to find the source of this signal and finally harness the energy for ourselves. And if this works, it could mean a better future for all of us. General, thank you for your time. The marker was exhumed on the Earth in 2214. It defied our understanding of science. It appeared to generate limitless energy, a trait of obvious importance in our resource-strapped times. There was an effort to replicate the marker, hoping to understand its technology, thereby acquiring limitless energy for ourselves. Imagine our surprise when we learned they are not sources of energy, but receivers of it. Via carrier wave from somewhere deep in space, triangulating this marker signal revealed a previously undetected planet, now known as Tau Volantis. We hope to find the source of this signal and finally harness the energy for ourselves. And if this works, it could mean a better future for all of us. General, thank you for your time. Good afternoon, General. Admiral Graves asked me to prepare this information. <laughs> Santos, tell him what we found. Of course. We found a little maintenance craft, a skip. It doesn't go very far or very fast, but it will take you to the outermost ships. Here, I'm sending you the coordinates. Now, let's get the shuttle so we can head home already. Robert, we are not going home. Hey, hey. We'll get the shuttle first and decide what to do with it. I'm heading out to take a look at this skip.
contacting me on a private channel. Because I need to know if you're on my side. We're taking sides now? I know you two had a thing, but she's mine now, and I love her too much to let her do this. If she's right and this is the mark of home rule, maybe there's a chance of stopping this. But we both know how this is going to end. If they found a way to stop the markers 200 years ago, don't you think we'd all be safe by now? It doesn't add up. Oh, I get it. I get it. You think you and her... Yeah, we'll, we'll forget it. She's over it, all right? <laughs> Transmission power. Papa Flair. Do you guys hear this? My rig's picking up some kind of looping message. It sounds encrypted. It's coming from the research vessel CMS Greeley. This could be really important. If I get a chance, I'll check into it, Santos. Isaac out. Inside the Terra Nova. Which way to the shuttle? Santos, you found the impound records. What did they say? Only that the shuttle was decommissioned. They were going to pop it out. Great. So basically, nobody knows? Uh, there must be more detailed shipping records somewhere. I'll take a look around the ship. Santos, I made it inside the Greeley. Any luck with that encrypted message? No, but if you can find the source, maybe we can find a way to decrypt it. Roger that. Isaac out. Santos, <laughs> looks like parts of the ship are sealed off. Sealed? On purpose? Do you think you can get it open? I'm not sure. If I can get the power on, I may be able to lift the security lock down. Hold on. Santos! Power's on! I see it. 
The lockdown is originating from the radio room. Set my waypoint. I'll head there. Isaac, how's your progress? I found the radio room. Just give me a minute to release this lockdown. I think I pulled out something I shouldn't have. The gravity plating is tearing itself apart. The message is a warning to someone named Serrano on the planet's surface. Did you find a way to decode it? Yeah, the encryption key is in the office of Laura Engstrom. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here she is. I'll send it to your locator. Got it. Hey, Santos, I'm sending you the decryption key now. I see it. Hold on, I'll apply it to the message. Hydroset? Who's she? They must have been trying to hide her from the execution order. Her research could be the key to all of this. But why issue a cleanse order if it would destroy such an important secret? Maybe they panicked. Or maybe they knew something we didn't. Isaac, thanks for looking into this. It could prove very useful. Good to hear. Well, I'm heading back. We've got a long road ahead of us. Isaac out. Warning. Power reserves are on standby. Cargo functions are offline.
Isaac here. It looks like our shuttle's in the aft section of the ship. I'm updating our locators now. Okay, just tell me it'll get us to the nearest shipping lane. If we can get it spaceworthy again. Judging from the diagnostic, it's a real piece of shit. We can get it to work, can't we? We're swimming in a sea of spare parts. I can get it to fly. Yeah, sure. We'll make this work. Starblaster! scavenger butt. This will come in handy. to remove the obstruction. Guys, something's blocking the tram system. Cradle Op should be nearby. You can see the tracks from there. Thanks, Buckle. I'll check it out. Hey, Commander. You there? If you're gonna ask about the cryo boxes, forget it. Cryo boxes? These are coffins, Deets. They're freezing soldiers on the planet and stowing them in our cargo hold. What's the story? You know I can't talk about it. Mallory, come on. You owe me, remember? Look, I don't know much more than you do. It's the Deep Dig teams. They send them into that godforsaken hole and... Well, when they come back, there's... There's something wrong. Look. Just get them stowed. I've got Mahad breathing down my neck. Fine. But this isn't going to end well. Mark my words. Okay. I see the problem now. Someone left a bunch of cargo on the tracks. Can you clear it? I should be able to. I'll get to that shuttle and aft section one way or another. Warning. Cargo fault in Bay 4. Containment breach detected. Biological anomalies are present. Please use caution. Obstruction cleared. Resuming normal tram operations. Dr. Edward, can you come to Cradle Ops, please? I need your help with the incoming cryo boxes. Hey, Chuck? You there? Aw, oh, screw off, Sam. My job was flying your asses over here, not wiping them once we arrived. You're a lazy prick, Tucker. You know that, right? Yeah, I come from a long line of lazy pricks, Sam. Get Sikowski to help you with your little monster farm. That brown noser will do anything to impress the commander. This mission is a group effort, Tucker. And one of these days, you're gonna have to take one for the team. One of these days, Sam. But not today. Hey guys, if you're running low on ammo, don't forget your kinesis module. Here, I found this recording when I was stuck on Titan Station. <laughs> Okay, whoever sees this, listen up. You can use Kinesis to pull blades off dead ones and shoot it back at them. Watch, watch. You stayed alive three hours using this trick. You see, just shoot it back at them.
shit! This one's regenerating! How are you going to kill it? I'm not! God, I hate those things. Okay, uh, I made it to the tram. Looks like it stops at the mid and aft station. The aft station's where the shuttle is parked. And what about mid station? Well, that would be the conning tower. Hey, now, this is interesting. Records indicate a number of useful tools and salvage were signed out from storage there by a Lieutenant Tucker Edwards. Could be worth a look. Thanks. If I check it out, I'll let you know. Isaac out. Now arriving. Conning tower. I'm... I'm sorry, Tucker. But you heard Mahad's announcement. We're facing a Scenario 5 situation. Scenario 5? What the hell does that even mean? It means you have to die. We all do. If we don't, he'll just send someone over to do it for us. Come on, Valerie. Just put that down. I'm sorry. They don't have to know. I'm so sorry. I'm not as sorry as I am, Commander. And if any one of them jacked up jarheads tries to come for me, they'll be sorry too. I see you. <laughs> Guess you were smart enough to make it past my lockout. So you must not be one of those no-neck dipshits on the General's goon squad. But before you go patting yourself on the back, you should know that was the easy part. Your day is about to get a whole lot worse. All the infected soldiers, they brought them up here for safekeeping. You may think you can put a bullet in my dome, but I've got a ready-made army that says you can't. Ah, gotcha. Now it's time for a little fun. Computer, arm explosives. And detonate. Warning. Contamination detected. Quarantine lockdown activated. I'm reading a quarantine lockdown. Are you all right, Isaac? No, not really. I'm locked in. Well, there must be an override on one of the walls. Okay. I look for it as soon as I'm not being stabbed in the face. Override accepted. Quarantine lifted. Please report this event to your superior officer. Guess you got a knack for killing anything that moves. Fine. But that arsenal of yours ain't gonna help you now. You can't kill electricity. Buckle. Edwards has rigged some kind of electrical trap. Looks like a homemade job with a short-range transmitter. Short-range, huh? Well, a control box must be nearby. If you can find it... I can shoot it. Thanks. boy. I don't want to die. 
I'm sorry. Computer, arm explosives, and detonate. Be seeing you. Accepted. Quarantine lifted. Please report this event to your superior officer. He hotwired the power from environmental, all right. Any workarounds from your end? Nope. The only way that trap's coming down is by pulling apart the power generator somehow. It's spinning too fast. I can't see what's going on. Can you slow it down? I'll give it a shot. I never wanted to hurt anybody, you know? I just wanted to live. That's all I wanted. To live. I wanted to live. Yep, that did the trick. Gravity is reading normal again. What do you think is worse, Buckle? Dying along with everyone else, or being the only one who survives? It's not the dying that scares me. It's not making a difference before I do. Uh, should be able to make it to the top of the conning tower now, Isaac. If Edwards is around, that's where you'll find him. And his stash. Right. Congratulations. You found me. Kind of stupid, ain't it? I just wanted to live, and now that I'm the only one left, I couldn't give a shit. With all this time alone, I realize it's just like Sam said. I'm a lazy prick who never took one for the team. Well, team, if you can hear me now, this one's for you. Damn. Looks like the supply room's locked. The bunkhouse was on level two. The key could be with his personal belongings. Well, it's worth a look, I guess. but I realize now why we couldn't be allowed to live. So if you found this and you're still alive, I guess I can finally do my part. Computer, blow all remaining charges. Well, was it worth a look? Yeah, Tucker had a nice pile of salvage. Good. I'm headed to the aft section now to check out that shuttle. Hopefully it's not a piece of shit. <laughs> Crozier, and it's, well, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> pressurize the cabin. We'll have to remote pilot it back to the repair bay on the Roanoke. Yeah, right. Let me look around. If I can build a remote relay, I can plant it on the hull.
see the shuttle readout. Okay, hang on. I'm going to try and start her up. No good. It's out of fuel. Oh, wait, there should be a refueling station on the upper floor. Here, I'm sending you the coordinates. Okay. I'll head up and refuel the shuttle. We can try restarting it after that. Initiating a test fire of the shuttle's engine. Take cover. This could get hot. That's stupid, bloody ancient technology. Oh, oh God. Uh, Isaac, I think I just started the launch sequence and I don't know how to stop it. You what? Look, just get out of that chamber before it bakes you to a crisp. to receive the shuttle. Isaac, we'll see you when you get back. So, how's the shuttle look? Yeah, this thing needs more than plating. It's missing the port engine. There's a small wreck near the Greeley. It could be a shuttle. We should check it out. All right, Rosen, lock, suit up. You're on engine duty. But sir, my legs... Yeah, I'm not asking you to do jumping jacks. Now get moving. <laughs> All right. Hey, Rosen, I'll meet you there. Whatever. Is this it? Hey, you wanted an engine? Here you go. It'll do. Uh, it's shit. Just like our plan. You always this helpful. Hey, some of us just want to go home, all right? 
I've disconnected all the lines and service tubes, but hell if I know how to get it out of there. I'll figure it out. Go get your equipment together so we can tow it back to the repair bay. You think you can handle it from here? Yeah, Clark. I'm not an idiot. And be sure to lock the injectors down tight. I don't want them popping off in mid-flight. Asshole. Okay, guys. I got the engine. Is everything ready? Well, not quite. We're gonna get tossed around like a midget at the circus if we try to navigate that atmosphere without a flight path. What about using flight recorders from these derelict ships? Yeah, right. We could reconstruct one of the routes they used. I'll search outside the Roanoke. Look for small satellites with four solar panels sticking out. Satellites with solar panels. Got it. Buckle, I think I found one of those flight recorders. Great. There should be more floating around the Roanoke. Okay, I'll see what I can turn up. All right, Ellie. I think I have enough flight recorders to reconstruct a safe route to the planet. Great. What's next? I put it all together into a navigation module and then plug it into the shuttle. I just need to find a bench. Should be easy enough. I think that does it. We should have all the parts we need. Thank God. Now let's plot a course for the nearest shipping lane and get the hell no, out of here. No, Robert. We're going to the planet. Ellie, I know that's how this all started, but we are in way over our heads. We can't take on a whole planet full of those goddamn things. If not us, then who? Earthgov is gone. Robert, we're the only ones left who can do this, and you know it. Ellie, you have to admit it sounds crazy. I mean, how do we know there's really a solution down there? Because you told me. In the Admiral's quarters, you said... Turn it off. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Damn straight. Captain, we can't pass this up. Carver, I don't need your mutiny on top of all this. If I say we're not going, we're not going. No, Ellie's right. There's a shot here, and we're going to take it. Now, you can come with us, or you can try to stop us. But remember, around here, we're worse dead than alive. Ellie, get the shuttle prepped. I'm on my way. <laughs> Navigation module installed for what it's worth. Wait, I'm not getting in. Ah, there it goes. Just in time. Looks like our flight window's approaching. Good. I'm coming aboard. Well, I'm glad to see you too. What's that look for? This is going to work, right? Our window's coming up. We go now or not at all. Hey, what's up with the oxygen injector? Suck on they're not locked down. I tried, but the threads are rusty. Let me see what I can do. If one of those pops loose, the cabin fire is gonna burn us up before the atmosphere does. Do me a favor. Find the pressure reading on the main console and let me know when I have a solid seal. Twist them once you have them in place. That's done something. I saw the needle jump. There we go. Pressure is rising and it's steady. Ready when you are. This is suicide. Those mines will rip this ship apart. It'll hold. 
Okay, everyone. Let's see if this thing can fly. Fuel lines are go. Sensors online. I'm seeing mines at 2,000 meters. Targeting computers spinning up. Okay, Isaac. You have the controls. Projecting optimal route now. Try to keep it on course and shoot anything that gets in the way. Thrusters, one quarter forward. Correction. We can't correct now. We'll miss our window. This angle, we won't reach the window. Okay, I'm sending you a new vector. We're shaking apart. We're almost through.
Ali. Ali, are you there? Is that you? Are you in range? You're listening to Aloha Station. Just a friendly reminder from HQ. Be sure to have your ration card stamped after every meal. We don't want anyone going hungry out there. And now, a little something to warm you up. For a research facility up the ridge. <coughs> we found snowsuits, but there weren't enough to go around, so I decided to stay behind. There might be more down in the basement. <coughs> might be. Well, the elevator shot, and we heard something scratching around down there, so we didn't. <coughs> we didn't check. Buckle. Throwing small objects, I can, I can, I can trick them into investigating the noise. Ackerman, is that you? Oh God! I smell you. I smell.
to Cochran. Take the security key and head to Depot 212. I haven't heard a thing from Sergeant Lumley, not since the Franklin incident last week. I'm sure I do not have to express the importance of the supplies stored there. Find out what happened to Lumley, and more importantly, secure our food and ammunition. Command. I'll be there as fast as I can.
About time. Isaac. Isaac, you made it. Thank God. I knew you'd catch up. Good to see you made it, Isaac. You know, maybe we should give you two some time alone, huh? What the hell does that mean? It means for someone who's in the past, you're awfully glad to see him. We need him. This mission needs Come on, him. We need him or you need him. Hey, you got something to say to me, Captain? Stop. Just stop. We need to shut down that damn machine, and we don't even know where it is yet. I do. I, I mean, I think I know how to find it. Well, I've been digging through what's left of the research notes, and... I thought all that stuff was destroyed. Well, computer data, yes. But the written logs discuss a signal tracking experiment that pinpointed the machine's exact location. Well, I think if we repeat it, we can do the same. But it's at the other end of the complex. Yeah, fine. Fine, let's have a look. I could use a change of scenery. He's a real asshole, you know that? Said Admiral I... Graves isn't running this show anymore. I am. If you need men to help you thaw those ice cubes you're experimenting on, you come to me, and only me. Of course, I just thought it'd be... I don't be... care how much support you have back home. You're playing a dangerous game, Professor. And out here, you play by my rules. Hey, wait for Isaac. Isaac, we're just outside. Yeah, and we're freezing. Hurry your ass up. Everybody move! How the hell did Danik's men find us? Come on! Come on! Run! Ali! Go! We'll meet up at the warehouse! They must have paled us here. That's impossible. Not through shock space. Yeah? Well, they did. Ellie, can you make it to the warehouse? Oh, God. Here they come. Common, get you guys over here. He's this way. I see him. I see him. He's down here. Ellie, everyone all right? Yeah, I think we're safe. We are anything but safe. They're after Isaac, and we're getting caught in the crossfire. Look, the warehouse. The signal tracking experiment should be inside. You're not worth as much trouble, Clark. of our very race depends upon it. Stop him at any cost. Open, be praised. <laughs> this is the only way he could have come. Be ready. <laughs>
believe. What is that noise? Um, a giant drill blocking my way out. Maybe I can lower the safety gates. Is that why? One way to find out. Okay, Ellie. We're headed to the warehouse now. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Between this planet trying to kill us, your boyfriend hating me, this has been a wonderful trip so what? far. Not usually like this. I don't know why. He... Just let us fight it out, okay? One of us will win eventually. Did you find the experiment? Yes. And? You'll just have to see it. Oh, good. for the machine's control signal, broadcasting it to the smaller forms. And that helps us how? Because I think they found the machine by tracking the signal upstream through nerve clusters inside the creature. Well, wait. We need to get inside that thing? Yes! This is such a wonderful opportunity! Wonderful opportunity. The son of a bitch is frozen solid. How do we get in? The scientists used heat exchangers. Let me try to ignite them. No, no good. There's probably a furnace on the roof. If I can find it, I can get it running again. Isaac, be careful up there, all right? Yeah, that don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Personal love, Dr. Earl Savan. The Nexus experiment is, well, it's incredible. We have discovered two nearly pristine specimens, and crews are working around the clock to uncover them. We're learning so much about how these necromorphs communicated. The whole species seems to have been connected by some telepathic signal from the lowliest foot soldier to the mightiest specimen. But where is the signal coming from? That is what I intend to find out. Get to the damn thing. Understood. Okay, the furnace is on. How's it looking from Isaac? Are you all right? Great. Hey. Thanks for putting up with Robert. You know, he's not been himself. I... Uh, Norton just thinks I'm trouble in a couple of ways. But you need me for the mission, and that's why I'm here. That plus, well, frankly, I hope... Ellie, is that Isaac? Great, great. You two having a nice little chat? Look, he just called to say he got the furnace going. He's on his way back now. Isaac, see you soon. Isaac, 
The heat exchangers are powered up now, but the specimen isn't thawing. Is there something wrong with the mechanism? Yeah, I think it's frozen shut. I may be able to work it free by adjusting the pressure in the pipes. Hang on. Where's the sensor? Probably destroyed. But I did find the blueprints to make a new one. I think I know where this is going. Over here. This is the blueprint I was telling you about. I don't see any of the parts necessary to make this sensor, but there's another research warehouse at the other end of the camp. Here's a schematic. What do you think? Looks like they modified a telemetry spike. I have no idea how it works, but yeah. I think I can build it with the right parts. Where's the other warehouse? I'll put the coordinates in your rig. It is most likely to be locked down tight. Here. I found these research passcodes when we arrived. They got us into this warehouse. Maybe they will work for the other buildings as well. Well, we'll find out. Back soon. I hope I can piece together enough of this research. Wait, why are you still here? I'll be fine. Geniuses, here's a question. Let's say this stupid experiment works and you find the machine, then what? Do you guys even have a clue about turning it off? Well, Admiral Gray has referred to a codex. She said it was the key to controlling the machine. Yes. I've been able to decrypt several of Dr. Serrano's logs, and he references someone named Rosetta as being instrumental in forging this key. Are you listening to yourselves? You don't know any more about this bullshit than I do. If I can find the parts to make a sensor, we can find the machine. Then we can figure out this Codex business. Uh, unbelievable. Containment has become a necessity. It is now up to us to make the ultimate sacrifice for the safety of the sovereign colonies that we have sworn to protect. We understand we cannot expect 100% compliance. Therefore, the military arm of this final quarantine campaign will divide into three tiers of soldiers on sweep and cleanse duty. The first crew disables all vehicles. The next takes census of the personnel who have obeyed the order and provides assistance to those who have not. The last destroys all data, records, and communication structures on Tau Volantis and in orbit. At the end of these tasks, each group will consider their mission objectives complete and proceed to self-terminate. God bless the Sovereign Colonies, and may he have mercy on us all. For the military arm of this final quarantine campaign, we'll divide into three tiers of soldiers on sweep and cleanse duty. The first crew disables all vehicles. 
The next takes census of the personnel who have obeyed the order and provides assistance to those who have not. The last destroys all data, records, and communication structures on Tau Volantis and in orbit. At the end of these tasks, each group will consider their mission objectives complete and proceed to self-terminate. God bless the sovereign colonies, and may he have mercy on us all. If a quarantine campaign will divide into three tiers of soldiers on sweep and cleanse duty. The first crew disables all vehicles. The next takes census of the personnel who have obeyed the order and provides assistance to those who have not. The last destroys all data, records, and communication structures on Tau Volantis and in orbit. At the end of these tasks, each group will consider their mission objectives complete and proceed to self-terminate. God bless the sovereign colonies, and may he have mercy on us all. If you are watching this film, it means despite our every precaution, containment has become a necessity. It is now up to us. Whoa. Uh, hey guys. Whatever they were experimenting on here, it looks like it got up and took half the warehouse with it. Oh no! What about the sensor parts? Three pieces, right? Well, it's a long shot, but I'll take a look around. Okay, Santos. I think I've got all the parts for the sensor. Excellent. Do you think you can reconstruct it? I just need to find a bench and call up the blueprint. It shouldn't be too difficult. Location. If this planet doesn't kill us first, we'll find it. I'll be back soon. Hey, anyone been out to check the armory? No. Why? Oh, shit. That's what I thought. Someone with a trail of flares and they're still burning. Oh, God. You don't think Danik and his men are. I'm gonna find out. This looks pretty lethal for science equipment. So what do I do with it? The research says the scientists took their readings internally. So, I guess we have to pry open the specimen's belly? Well, that would explain the harpoon guns. Isaac, I am done fucking around here. Danik has ships. We can take one, get out of here. If you care at all about Ellie, you will do this for her. Haven't you been paying attention? We're the only hope of saving our entire race. There is no hope, Isaac. None. The best we can hope for is to survive and get the hell off this planet. Norton, can you help us? Wow, gotta be kidding me. I'll save it. I'll go inside. I just need you to lower me down. Yeah, whatever. Get in the cage.
tell us, how will this work exactly? Use the gun sensor attachment to locate a nerve cluster. It should ping when you're close. And then what? Shoot a probe into it, I suppose. My telemetry should light up and we'll have the location of the machine. Finally, something simple, right? Right. I just aim the probe and follow the pig. Doesn't sound too hard. Hmm. Nothing. Need to find a stronger signal ping. Ah, wrong note. There must be a stronger ping around here somewhere. Isaac, are you all right? This thing's got one hell of a defense mechanism. Well, did it work? No. The signal is just a trickle. I can't get a fix on any specific location. All right. We're gonna find another nerve cluster. Yes, good idea. That should boost the signal. Oh, shit, not again. All right. Come on. Come and get me. Is everything okay? Yeah. Look, I want to get out of here. How's the signal? Definitely stronger, but... One more? One more. Isaac, it worked! It worked! I've got to fix on the machine's location! Santos, not now! Okay. That better be the last one. Santos, please tell me you got what you needed. Yes, thank you. It will take me a moment to fix through the data. Fine. I'm gonna head back to the cage. Ready when you are, Norton! Santos, we have a fix on the machine? Yes. There are thousands of signals, all concentrated far below the planet's surface. That has to be it. There's an entrance further up the mountain beneath the second dig site. Further up the mountain? They're sheer cliffs. Well, I saw some climbing gear still below. Santos and I will start setting up the base of the cliff. Norton, can you make sure Isaac gets out safely? Sure. Sure, I'll take care of him. And Ellie. Yeah. I love you. You know that, right? What? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, Isaac, use at the cliff. Got it. Norton, open the cage. No. What? If you want to die here, now's your chance. I'm taking control of this mission again. Hey, where are you going? Saving Ellie. Norton! Norton! Ellie, can you hear me? Damn it, he jammed my signal. Trouble you saved me. Nice work. What? Well, here he is. The marker killer, Isaac Clark. And here we are. The marker homeworld. You know, I must admit, I almost didn't believe such a place existed. But thanks to your friend, Norton, I finally found it. That's how they followed us through shock space. Well, oh, he is a bright one. All he wants is Isaac. Carver, the rest of us can go home. Deluded son of a bitch. Hey! You've got me. Let the others go. It's a very difficult thing, you know, undoing the damage man has done. Everything we touch, we contaminate, we corrupt. 
The markers had a plan for us, but we took what should have been a magnificent gift and perverted it. Jesus, spare us the bullshit. <coughs> I've spent an entire lifetime trying to undo the damage man has done. Fighting EarthGov's ongoing research, liberating the markers from those profane testing facilities. And now, I just have one problem left to purge. All of you. No, 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 no. No, you promised me a ship, Danik. We had a deal. Yes, I'm sorry about that. But I can't afford to leave even one of you left alive. Apologies for misleading you, Captain. <laughs> Shooting at us and whatever the fuck that was, what chance have we got? You betrayed no, us! I tried to save us. You are the real problem here, Clark, but not anymore. Captain! Take down, Sergeant! This is all your fucking fault! She doesn't love you!
stay dead forever, not around here. What am I gonna tell Ellie? Hey, you tell her the truth. Now let's go. Norton betrayed us, Ellie. He was ready to kill us. Isaac did what he had to do to save the mission. I... Oh, come on! We gotta keep moving. <laughs> now there are only four of us left! I can't do this! Then we leave you behind. If you can't keep your head, you're a danger to everybody. You're horrible! Nobody's leaving anybody. Now, come on. Let's get to the top of this mountain. Together. Together. start an avalanche if we all try to climb this. What do we do? I'll climb up first and have a look around. Maybe there's a safer route. Ellie, come on. Norton was pointing a gun at my face. I'm sorry. Is that supposed to make it okay? You never believed in me, or this mission, or us. I had to go find someone else to help me, and now he's dead. He sabotaged it, just like everything else. What's that supposed to mean? Is that what you really think? Yes. They brought you here at gunpoint. I guess that's what it took. I'm not here because someone put a gun to my head. Yeah, well, Norton's dead because someone put one to his. Guys, I found a cargo cage, but it's wedged into the cliff. I'll try to free it and send it down. Ellie, you hear me? We see it. Come on, Ellie. The cage is on its way now. Ellie, can you see it? Ellie. Isaac, we're okay. We drove it off. Oh, thank God. Look, about Robert, I just don't understand why he would try to kill you. He blamed me for all the trouble we're in. He kept pushing to go home. I kept pushing to stay. But the mission is all that matters. I thought Robert understood that. I'm here for you. I mean that. I found her at the lift point. Still no winch. You guys all right? So far. We're just at the cage. It's infested pretty bad up here. I hope I find a winch soon. Isaac, just be careful. I don't need to lose both you and Robert in the same day. Thanks, Ellie. Hang on to something. Wait. I don't like this. Just talk to me. Don't look down. What's our next step? Well... We now know that, in order to turn off the machine, we'll need some sort of key. The researchers called it the Codex. Okay. So where is it? We have to make one. And how do we do that? The same way they did 200 years ago, with Rosetta's research. Oh my god! Take it easy, take it easy. 
Just blown a fuse. Maybe I can divert power from the lights. So, tell me about this, Rosetta. Well, we don't know much. Just that the Codex was made from her research. Where will we find it? In the facility at the top of this mountain. Great. See? We're almost done. wasn't so bad. Not bad. I was crying the whole way. Just get me some solid ground under my... <laughs> oh, oh, no! Help me! I know! <laughs> Carver, give me a hand. Take us all down with it. Isaac, the cliff's falling apart. Come on, damn it, give me your hand. I promised her. I could have reached her, but just had another step in. down you couldn't have saved her can you get back up here yeah i think there's a way up around the side someplace. We should look for an office or a set of files, anything with her name on it. We can take that to the entrance. 
Come on. Heads up. Looks like Danica's had time to regroup. Damn it. How do we find Rosetta if she's been dead for 200 years? Wait a minute. There. Rosetta Lab. It's here. Perfect. Send me the coordinates. Now let's hope Danica doesn't find us before we can build this codex. assembly station, according to the controls. So we're here to assemble a codex. That makes sense. Uh, no. According to this, we're here to assemble Rosetta. They cut her into pieces? Oh my god. Fuck this day. They sliced her up. Why? I don't know. But some of the pieces are already in the assembly. I think I see another piece over there. Well, there should be a receptacle that feeds that into the lab's cataloging system. Yep, yeah, over there. Okay, let me see if I can feed it in. Wait. Okay, I'll see if I can route that to the assembly station. Hold on. So, according to the records, there are four more pieces. They were checked out of storage by Dr. Serrano. Well, there are three buildings in the facility, so if there are more pieces, they're either in one or all of them. Most of the doors were locked down from what I could see. Yeah, well, you're in luck. Look what I found, a security pass. You want to give it a shot? Hey, why not? Great, thanks. Find out what you can about how assembling Rosetta will create a codex. I'll explore the labs and recover the rest of the Rosetta slabs. It looks like there are three primary buildings in this facility. The one we're in now is biology. There's one for paleontology and one for geological studies. Which one should I check out first? It doesn't matter. Just be careful. <laughs> Why? 
You think there's something out there that wants to eat me? That's not funny. I know. Isaac out. Uh, there's nasty growth everywhere in here. It's blocking some of the doorways. Is it organic? It says here there's a sterilization system that can destroy organic matter in case of a containment breach. I'll check it out. Dr. Earl Serrano, status update. I now realize why the alien machine was rejecting our codex. The instructions were being garbled by the second set of DNA. The aberration. We found a new specimen today. A pure and intact specimen. Its DNA is completely pristine. And I have high hopes that this is the breakthrough we were looking for. sending it your way which um which piece is it <laughs> it's hard to tell from the cross section but it doesn't look like anything i recognize okay i'll get it prepped when it arrives testing testing hello isaac i know you're out there crawling around <laughs> you probably think i'm an overzealous crusader and Mindlessly following the whim of an angry god, it's an easy conclusion to draw, and I don't fault you for it, but you may be surprised to know that I'm a man of science, a man of fact and reason, cause and effect, and soon you'll understand that I'm right about everything. Dr. Earl Serrano, status update. It is well known that the surface of all markers contain glyphs. No one is entirely sure what they mean, but they exist as a distinct language we attribute to the markers' creators. However, our deep dig teams are reporting the discovery of another set of glyphs, a new set, found on the structures we've uncovered below the planet's icy crust. I've ordered several artifacts sent up for closer inspection. If this is what I think it... coming your way. Isaac, these slices, are, are you sure this is Rosetta? Only one way to find out. Let's keep going. Before entering the barracks at the 163rd, keep your ID visible. Hey, Carver, I'm in the barracks of the 163rd. I bet they had access to some pretty cool toys. I'm gonna take a look around.
Christ. Somebody got chop happy. There are severed heads everywhere. Are you sure this is a good idea? If the bodies are still here, so is their stash of weapons. This is too good to pass up. guys are ready to take on an entire army. Isaac, please tell me you're getting out of there now. Yeah. I'll see if I can find my way back up. A little trivia, Isaac, to put things in perspective. Fact. The original marker, the black marker found on Earth, predates the rise of mankind. Are you listening to this? Fact. The marker exerts a field of influence that guides and grows biological organisms, evolving them over time towards some greater purpose. You see where this is going? Activation failure. Reopen gas supply valve to continue. Serrano, status update. It appears that all the specimens share some common features that are quite surprising. Gills, along with what I presume are swim bladders and collapsible fins. 
This is quite improbable for a frozen wasteland, unless it was not always frozen. I now believe this planet was once a vast liquid ocean, and that a single sudden event caused a flash freeze trapping everything in the ice. Heads up, Elsie. Ah, I see it. Clark is down there somewhere. Keep scanning. One mind, one body. As you can personally attest, man is naturally compelled to create red markers, duplicates made in the image of the original. They are as much a part of us as the planet that birthed us, perhaps even more so. We must all act our part in the natural evolution of the universe, Isaac. <laughs> Something you seem rather reluctant to accept. Be there soon. There! The door! Give up! Isaac, you're not getting out of there alive! Oh, shut up, Danik! Ellie, how do we know this is even gonna work? Did you find out how they make a codex from all this? Yeah. It looks like they use magnetomic forensic neurology, which produces a data stream stored in the codex. Like they lifted the codes of the machine right out of her brain. Well, that sounds familiar. At least they didn't poke her eye out. I'll be there soon. I want all of them. Every last bullet, Private. I'm sorry, General Mahat, sir, but without the munitions key... What's your name, son? Um, Kaufman, sir? Uh, pri Private Tim Kaufman, sir. Do you like potatoes, Tim? Y yes, sir. I, I, I guess so, sir. Good. Because if you don't find the goddamn key and have those munitions on a train by sundown, you'll be peeling goddamn potatoes for the rest of your goddamn miserable excuse for a military career! The key's here somewhere. What's so important at the train depot? Munitions. What happens if Clark finds them first? Then nobody gets reborn. Keep looking. Up there! I see him! He's on the catwalk! Wait! There's something down here too! Look out! Here's some good news. I found a munitions supply key. Great. Don't get killed before you can use it. Thanks, Carver. The General's order has
has been filled, Sergeant Weber, sir. Can you sign for it? Sir? Are you serious? Boy, you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. No, sir. <laughs> Forget it. Just get it loaded onto the train. You'll find out soon enough. here. Someone left the music on. Here, think you located a Sergeant Lumley's rig. We should be able to pick up his soup's transponder. Why the general send us here anyway? Boy, an army marches on its stomach. We won't last one week on this planet without our food and guns. Lumley has both. Ah, There's something wrong with this planet. Something very, very wrong. Make us whole. What do you suppose that means? Sergeant, please, sir, can we just get the hell out of here? Nah, not just yet. The transponder's further in. <laughs> you crazy? Sir! Well, wait for me! Signal's getting very close now. Sir, I don't know about you, but I haven't seen a scrap of food yet. Don't you worry. We'll all feed soon. What? This way. Transcended to our ultimate end, our predestined rebirth. Now, what purpose does all this conversation hope to serve? Well, the next time we see each other, and I shoot you in the face, <laughs> you will understand why.
All right, let's hope we can figure this thing out before Danik finds us. It's simple. Like bones connected. Well, you know, whatever the hell that is. All right, that looks like a... Uh, sort of... All right, it's just a blob, whatever. How are we supposed to piece this thing together? There must be a trick to it. Okay, I think I see something forming here. Yeah? Are we getting close? It's hard to tell, but the outline is coming together. Assembly complete. Codex initialization standing by. Let's see what we got. Well, here she is. Meet Rosetta. Where's her face? She doesn't have a face. It's not even a she. It's an it. Rosetta's an alien. What? What does that mean? It means they used an alien brain to unlock the secrets of the alien machine. It's clever. All right, let's see what happens when we activate it. This could get a little weird. Fingers crossed. Got it all wrong. This isn't the marker homeworld. The aliens, they, they found the markers just like us, and it spread. It consumed them. It, it pulled their bodies into the sky to form the final stage. Oh my god, the The moon is the source of the marker signal, not the machine. The moon is convergence. The aliens, they... They built the machine to freeze the planet. To keep the moon from becoming whole. If the machine shuts down, everything thaws. And convergence has resumed, not just here, but... Everywhere the markers have spread. And this is... Is the key. Turning it all off. Thank you for doing all the heavy lifting. No! It will home in on Earth's markers and hunt us down. You don't understand oh, what you're doing. I misunderstood doing. initially, that's true, but it's all quite clear to me now. It's not only mankind's tampering which has hindered our glorious rebirth, but this alien machine as well. Stay away from that machine, Danik. No. And now that I have this, I'll be able to turn it off. The natives of this planet chose death over evolution. Now I'll make sure humanity doesn't make the same mistake. We will all of us be made whole. Well, come on, kill them. Bitch! Jam the door! No, there's a manual override system the control booth. I can open it from here! No! You'll never make it out! It's open! Go! I'm right behind you! Your malfunction. 
gotta shut this door. God. Ellie, come on! Ellie! It's no good. It's moving too fast. Isaac, do it. Just do it. Isaac! I love you. No. Isaac! Hey! That gas is still coming! We gotta go! Now! She's all I got. This was her mission. She knew better than anyone how important it was. Now we've gotta finish this for her! Got it? Do you got it? Yeah. Then let's go! Isaac, now! Isaac! I... I left her. Ellie. Isaac, hey, keep it together. Come on, man, don't fall apart on me. Danik is headed down to that machine. We can't let him shut it down. Then we're gonna make sure he never gets there. You All got right. that? All right. Hey, hey, it looks like Danik unlocked access to all floors. Where'd he go? I don't know. Where'd he go? I don't know! Jesus! Son of a bitch! Okay. All right. We're gonna split up. You take floor one, I'll take floor two. Okay. All right. All right, just, hey. Keep your head, man. I can't do this without you. Right. Isaac, I know where Danik is going. To get to the machine, he's got to go underground, and there's only one way down, the big silo north of here. Okay, I'm updating my locator. I'll meet you there. I'm taking Danik with me. The answer, but we were deceived. The moon is the source of the signal, the madness. Make us whole, turn it off. These are its cries for help, its call to action. And we, 
are the fools who listened. systems from in here. Clear a path the dropships. Do it now! Carver, he's here. He's headed to the machine. Can you reach him? I'm trying. Find a way into the city. We'll try to meet up on the way. The misshapen moon in orbit. That's what controls the markers. It's the end state of these creatures. Or rather, it would have been. You see, the natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid-formation. But it wasn't enough. Even half-formed, the moon's marker signal speaks to the markers back home. And it doesn't end there. There is a network of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one completes, it connects to this network making them aware. If this moon should complete, its brothers will all come looking for food. But there is hope. The natives never finished configuring the machine. It wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon, it was meant to destroy it. You'll need the Codex. It is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it. Follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare. Carver, did you hear that? The machine could crush the moon. It just needs to be properly configured. What about Danik? Stopping Danik won't be enough. We need to get that codex back. It's the key to reconfiguring the machine. But Serrano's locked the passage using some kind of alien glyphs. I'm gonna look for a way to bypass it. something. If I don't make it, 
You'll get this done, right? We'll get this done, Carver. You and me. Yeah, but if I don't... I helped get us this far. And that's close enough for all this to count, right? Count for what? For... I don't know, just... All the bad I've done. Oh, shut up, Carver. You're a good man. I alienated my son. Wrecked my family. Isaac, I killed Santos. Is that what a good man does? Good men mean well. You just don't always end up doing well. Yeah. Hey. I'm sorry about Ellie, man. Me too. Me too. This way! Clear that rubble! Look, it's Dan. It's not too late. I'm turning back now, right? Let's go get that codex. Come on! Yeah. Eyes on these paths! They join up with Danix up ahead! Try to slow him down. I'll find another way. Danix, you have to stop. Isaac, is that you? You are unbelievably hard to kill. Are you aware of that? Danix, do you know about the moon? Do you know what it is? Part of the miraculous ecosystem, I assume. It's alive, Danik. It's hungry, and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it free. And then it and all its brothers find our markers, find us, and wipe us out. How can you presume to know its intentions? You fear it because you don't understand it. Danik, hear me out! Danik, are you listening to me? Motherfucker! Isaac! He's getting away! Hang on! I've got a plan! to them down here has served as a cautionary tale to us all. What drove them to such extreme behavior, to such depravity and violence? I have sequestered their bodies in the staging house. There I hope to find the answers, not only to their demise, but to the workings of the artifact they discovered in the depths. He was shivering, naked when I found him. The self-inflicted wounds carved deep into his skin, the meaning of which I can only speculate. I had to work to pry the artifact from his cold, white hand. A curious object made of an unknown material activated, it seems, by sound. The markings are words that I'm sure of, but without a means of translating them, I'm afraid its purpose will remain a mystery. If only there were more time, I could find other examples of the script stored here and unlock it.
clear. Warrior. Final. Final. This the promenade, one of the many conduits straight to the heart of the machine. Without the codex, I can only speculate, but I suspect the machine needs to be opened for any changes to be made. I believe the monoliths on this plateau do just that. By standing on the special disc-shaped area on the floor, I've discovered I can use my kinesis module in a boosted capacity to manipulate them. The two hieroglyphics on the wall behind me indicate that one configuration will open the machine. Another will enact any changes to the internal programming. Once you get it open and have followed all of my research, you will need to return here to enact the final... You're the engineer, how do we fix it? We'll follow Serrano's clues and reconfigure the machine. I just opened a conduit to the heart of the city. If there's a control center for the Codex, that's where it'll be. Meet me there. Hey, Carver, I'll bet this supercharging effect might let us TK the limbs right off Necromorph while they're still moving. That's great. Thanks for the tip.
If you've made it this far, you are now deep in the heart of the machine. From here, there appear to be two primary configuration points. One to the west, that you have no doubt already activated, and another to the north. If they can be properly composed, well, to be honest, I don't exactly know what will happen. The only advice I can offer is this. Be observant. The clues are out there. Invasive growth in this area has made it difficult to make much progress. Dig teams continue to get caught in the ancient, sticky webbing. There is no doubt in my mind that the devices above are essential to the configuration of this alien machine. Based on my observations of the alien script, it could be a sort of amplifier made to boost the signal or power source when properly aligned. Got the power line. Looks like it opened another activation terminal. We're getting closer to fixing this machine, Carver. successfully turned the city into a giant pretzel. Now what? Ms. Serrano's right. I should be able to return to the first activation point to enter the final setting. What happens then? Hey, I work on spaceships. Not you? alien machines, right. This isn't the way, Isaac. There is a future for you, for all of us. Leave me alone, Danik. You can see them again, Isaac. Everyone you've lost along the way. It's a future with no regrets. I have no regrets, Danik. One way or another, this will all be over soon. Isaac!
you're doing the right thing, but you are wrong, Isaac. You have to let me turn off the machine. My reinforcement has arrived with a big surprise. Receptacles, three statues, three markings. What's the final step? <laughs> All right, Carver. Another door just opened up. We gotta be close to the control center for the codex. We've done everything else Serrano set to do. I'm heading in. is in Mahad's hand by now, and this place is about to be buried, like everywhere else. <laughs> I remember telling my college professor I wanted to study xenoarchaeology. He laughed right in my face. There's nothing to study, he said. It's all dead space. No alien life exists out in the universe. In a way, I guess he was right. There is no life beyond our system. Only a trail of extinction wrought by the moon. And now, it's right on our doorstep. Well, above us lies the means of turning off the machine, but also the means to complete it. Turning it off will finish our species. Completing it will save us. I had hoped to be here to witness the saving part. It would have been spectacular to witness the moon getting pulled into the planet and crushed to oblivion. A final act by the natives. A sacrifice to save us all. But now, I must rest. Perhaps Tim will be along soon with the Codex. and you can have her back. No! Isaac, you know what's at stake. Okay, everybody calm down, okay? Danik, give me the Codex, or I will kill her! No! Isaac, what are you doing? You, you got a second chance. If he turns off the machine, we're all dead. Her, us, everyone. Don't let it all go dark, Isaac. There's more than one kind of right. No! Tell them what we found. I'm staying. That's all I got left. You can't stop it, Carver. Not without me. I'm the marker killer, remember? Isaac. I turned my back on the world because I was afraid of what needed to be done. Ellie, I'm not afraid anymore. There's a shuttle over there. I want you to take it and head for home.
come back for me. We both know I'm not going home. Go! Yeah. <laughs> 
That's it, huh? We use that codex. Yeah. No more bullshit. Die here? No. But Earth... Get to tomorrow. Isaac? Isaac? Are you there? Carver? Isaac? You're gone, aren't you? The mark signal. It's gone too. Isaac, you did it. You really did it. Earth space coordinates confirmed. Shock drive enabled. Standing by. Gostou do vídeo? Tem muito mais no canal Gameoteca. Te vejo por lá. Um tchau da Luna.